Y'all, come on in. You're here on a great day. Our soap today was sent to us from the Shade Trooper. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! Hey, y'all, come on into the Barbershop! We're open and we're so glad you're here. Yeah. If you happen to be here during a live premiere, join the chat. Won't you meet the Whiff Pack, a cool group of guys hanging out from all over the world, and they'd love to meet you, they too. They would. And what's our mention today? So our friend Shave Trooper, who sent us this soap, has a blog. So it's shavetrooper.com, and this is just a little excerpt for you. Greetings, fellow inhabitants of the galaxy. I may be a fearsome stormtrooper, but beneath this shiny white armor lies a hidden secret that will blow your mind faster than the Millennium Falcon in hyperdrive. Brace yourself because, yes, you guessed it right, I am a wet shaver. Cue the dramatic music. You see, most people assume that stormtroopers have zero time for personal grooming amidst all the intergalactic shenanigans. Well, let me debunk that myth and take you on a hilarious journey through the art of wet shaving with a blaster in one hand and a razor in the other. Pew Pew meets Shave Shave. <laughs> yeah! Yes! And he was one of our very first friends and one of our very first Whiff Pack members here in the Shuet Shaving community, so we're so grateful that you sent us this soap yeah. and pretty sure he knows our noses mm -hmm. and knows which ones we're going to love to dive so into So he first, picked so. us down two soaps. I'm not exactly sure which ones, but it'll be super fun to get our hands on a new Herc Soap Company yeah. soap. Both of our families are big military families. I think all four of our grandfathers yes. were in the service, so <laughs> we're super excited to have a soap that yeah, celebrates that military that. tradition and mm -hmm. even in the soap labels themselves. Yes, so, they hey, have a let's going meet on. this one. All right, y'all. So from the sales page at HerxSoapCo.com. Introducing Soldier's Blend, a tobacco-scented shave soap designed for those who value a touch of history with their grooming. Nice. Inspired by the resilience of World War II soldiers, this soap melds the robust aroma of tobacco with hints of leather and earth, reminiscent of military life back then. That paints a picture. I love it. Y'all, I kind of like that feeling of being outside, being in the trenches, right. waking up. Like, I made the comment the other day when we were doing Camp Phoenix, I've never shaved while camping. Right. Like, y'all, the there's... idea of, like, shaving when you're out, like, you mm -hmm. had to. Like, you did. part of the uniform was a Only clean Only option, yeah. And if you're out there in the trenches and you got your Gillette tech. You gotta do it. Y'all, this could be an awesome experience right. to relive what my grandparents went through. Right. This is cool. Now I mean, we gotta more. get a vintage razor out, maybe. Uh, oh! We could try my Gillette check for the yes. first time. Okay. Y'all, okay, here we back go. To back to the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Soldier's Blend offers a rich lather that not only ensures a smooth shave, but also nourishes and soothes your skin, yes. leaving it soft and well-conditioned. Its masculine fragrance is subtle yet enduring, reflecting the enduring spirit of those who served. Perfect for anyone who appreciates both quality and history. Soldier's Blend is more than just a shave soap. It's a nod to the past, celebrating the strength and camaraderie of soldiers. Experience a legacy of toughness with each shave. Y'all. Sign us up. <laughs> I love it when a shave soap kind of has a, a milieu, has a philosophy, right? has a take a on the world, right? I love this. And kind of reliving the world of his parents and grandparents. Mm -hmm. And they call it the greatest generation for a reason. I'm ex Let's let this soap out mm -hmm. of the box. Look at this fun packaging. We it's love Carlo Drop. The packaging. It looks like a meal ready to eat. You know right? what I mean? It does. Love this. We had no question when this arrived in the mail. Clearly, it was from our so good. Wow, let's see what the label right. looks like. I love new artisans because everything from the tub itself to the label, everything's new. So there's two in here. This is this is the first one. Okay. Okay. So look at that label. You're so right. <sighs> <gasps> Y'all, that look is some fun, at fun that. vibes. And then look at this new fallen snow soap in this okay. container. That's Can we beautiful. peek it with yeah, the other like, one? Yeah, like what didn't they see? They okay. didn't see. <gasps> oh, oh wait, what wait, is wait, this? Wait, oh, we got stickers! Oh, 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 I love one. it. That's gonna look fabulous in our shade locker. <laughs> look at that! I love okay. this. This is super fun. I didn't know about this. I, 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 this is not on their website. On their website, so I didn't think. I'm. Okay, so excited. my grandpa that was military worked with engines all the time. So I'm actually really excited for this one to have next time. Engine start. Mine was 18 two weeks after the war ended. So he enlisted, but then he got sent to do like laundry and mm -hmm. cleanup and stuff. But still, it, it, it counts. It counts. <gasps> wait, wait. We may also have a note. Yo, a note stickers. Oh, well, 
what a good day okay, this is. Okay. All right, what's this say? Thank you for your order. Enjoy, and please let us know how you enjoyed them from Coda. Coda. We Thanks, sure Coda. love Coda and Herc Soap wow. Company. Thank you and so much for sending us on this adventure. Arizona-based. All right, that's love pretty it. close to us. Boy, does Arizona seem to be a hub of great right? things in the wet shade. I world cannot wait to get our noses on that. I Look know. at that. All right, y'all, stay tuned, because we're about to have a military first impression. <laughs> The plural of court martial is courts martial. Is it really? Yeah. Attorneys general is the same. I don't know. Uh, okay. There, right, there we go. Are you going to go first? I don't know. I feel like I need to. I, I, like I don't know the why. gentleman don't know. from the military perspective, no. it kind of might be fitting from an OG. Yo, my, my paternal grandfather was a pipe smoker, and there was just mm, something right. so comforting about it. Just always walked around with it lit. Didn't like mm -hmm. have it puffing all the time. Right, but, but you, you know, sense, you know, of, tobacco reminds yeah, you of yeah, him, which is kind of cool. Sense. There's a cherry tobacco, I think so. Let's see what's in this. We don't know anything about the scent notes, right, other than tobacco? Just, yeah, but then there's a little earth. It's had a little leather. Oh, so you're right. kind of like in the there trenches, maybe. Things, right, not just a tobacco. All right, here we go. Maybe at your fort somewhere. I don't know. That looks different. I'm excited to try that. It's a Don't different you? like pattern, a different consistency. That we've seen Destiny before. kind of vibe. Oh, okay, here we go. A new base, a new artisan. That was fast. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh. Let's have a grown-up conversation. Step in here. Uh, we've done a dozen or so tobacco yep. scents, mm -hmm. and I can kind of get a sense of the oils okay. that are used, and maybe not identical oils, of course, but identical right. like faces of the tobacco, right. the tobacco leaf, or the tobacco when it's a little bit burned, mm -hmm. or the tobacco when it's in the... The tobacco flower, like those right. things. The tobacco, like you said the other day, that's been in a humidor. Mm -hmm. Y'all, after 12 tobaccos, this one's different. It has a purity of that tobacco note for me that's unmatched. It's oh. it's more of a slightly humidored tobacco, but okay. it's it's very reminiscent of when I went on a trip to the Bahamas and I walked mm -hmm. into like giant humidors in these really luxurious cigar stores. Gotcha. You know, like, and, and it's like a lounge built inside of this mm -hmm. humidor. And the sense of that beautiful cured tobacco leaf that had not yet been smoked. For some okay. reason, you couldn't smoke inside this humidor. But you could purchase your something. Yeah. And just the, I, I just want to stay in there all day. There was just something about that beautiful, warm, nostalgic tobacco leaf ah. scent. And this... This captures it in such a different way than I have ever experienced in the soap world. And it just has a reality to it. It has a purity to it. And then there are other notes kind of swirling around, but they're not there to add their own character. Uh -huh. They're there to support that beautiful, lovely tobacco. As if this was something that went my footlocker. This was okay. my like tobacco. It came with this you, was right. my like, yeah. And and you could just open it up and get Take that little whiff. comforting whiff whenever. Yeah. And Somehow reminiscent of like the Brill Cream, reminiscent of the Aqua ah, Velva. It's not the time in here, warp. Okay, but I'm just so used to smelling this with those. Ah. What a perfect, charming, masculine little impish scent this is. I love this. Whoa. Well, okay, I'm kind Do of excited. Do you think your grandpa would have enjoyed it? Oh. Would have loved this. Okay. Well, it, just it, being through that time, I was yes. just curious. It, you know, it, it has that brown earthy quality that I'm, I'm, and maybe it's because a lot of our tobaccos are mixed with vanillas and they're made right, into more of the cologne things. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to say this is like a total like standing out in the middle of like tobacco plant. No, no, no. Something okay. fabulous and classy has been done with this tobacco. Mm. That's why I think it is. It's like that that beautiful humidor that you walk in where they they hand you a drink, right? Mm -hmm. You sit down in an over padded chair and you get to like examine the Check little cigars, out. right? Mm -hmm. No smoking, no smoking, but just what beautiful the moisture and the humidity of just even that place does to the tobacco mm. itself. Y'all. And just perfectly sweet, but not there's something ooh Okay, there's something in the soil and the other notes that are in this that are adding their sweets to mm. the tobacco. Because for me, like the tobacco flower is kind of where the sweetness of the tobacco right, right, comes out. Right. With this, those other notes are adding those earthy sweets, those biological sweets yeah. to kind of help the tobacco in with its character. So the tobacco doesn't have to add the sweetness. Okay. Oh. So as of, if it was like a dark to a light where does it kind of fall oh, scent-wise? Funny. It's on the darker side, boys. Ah, it's okay. on the darker side. So this does yes. not go to those lighter, like, vanilla whites and blues. This stays in the browns and the beiges mm -hmm. and the tans. Okay. Oh, okay. oh y'all. Like okay. a military-colored uniform, almost. Uh, <laughs> okay. I'm curious to see what you Me say. Me, too. I love, I love this little, like, nostalgia label. Like, all the touches, even the packaging, how it came. It really yeah. is, like, undeniably their theme, which is very cool. 
Okay, let's see. You're right. We have done quite a few tobaccos. I'm actually curious where this falls. Even like Malbos or Miami Libre. Uh, Yeah, I almost feel like tobacco is like a lane now. It's not because we've smelt so many that overlap that, that it's actually a lane. It's not just a scent note to me. And this one is just inside out and upside down of everything we've done before. Okay. I'm loving this. No more stolen here. Those who like to see the poor. There you go. You have room to tub leather. So you just there's anything wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's, that's actually really funny to me. If you hadn't have said tobacco right away, there are so many spices and things going on within this yeah. that I don't know if I had immediately have been able to tell you it was like tobacco forward. I love that. I Does love that make that. sense though? Yes, yes. Well, because for me, it is such an interesting type of the tobacco. It was the first thing I was yeah. trying to get out of my mouth somehow, right? Yeah. Unless, because I've, I've been around cigars my whole life. My dad even kept the ones he gave out when we were born. To say yeah, it's see, a boy, and it's I a haven't been around it as much. Right. So I, I, I know what they smell like. This, this is that very specific yes. ultra high luxury mm-hmm. cigar walk-in humidor where they have actual Cubans Re- sitting on the <laughs> shelf, right? But there's the, to me, it's almost if you could take a tobacco and make it into a spice, Ooh. like a, like an, like an herb of its own, like used as a spice. Like a gourmand even? Of a tobacco. You know what? I'm glad she's here. If you could make a tobacco into a gourmand shade I think that's what you got. Right? Like, I, you know, like how you would take a basil or a different herb. It's almost like the tobacco is being used yeah. as like something to well, s- create of its own spice. And, you know, people do put tobacco in their mouth. We've seen the sad lot shaw, <laughs> right? <laughs> Ball yeah. chewers. I grew yeah, up with big leaf so. chew bubble gum, which was just kind of making us feel like we had our own tobacco yeah. pouches. So it is something you put in your mouth. No, it, is a, it, it can't be that be. far from a gourmand. Right? Is bubble gum a gourmand because you spit it out? Sure. Yeah, but there's there's almost like I almost would put it in like a, a bay leaf or like you know one of those categories. Like right. to me, like how it's being used here, it's painted in a whole new, cool, yeah. different light Let me to me. See if there's a little chewing tobacco in it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm smelling. No, I'm, I'm enjoying the spice of it. But I bring you glad to is great joy. There is zero chaw in this, but I I totally get how it's making my mouth water. Yeah, right. Like I I really do get like a different type of a spice. But 100%. you're right. The the earthiness to me is just drawing some depth. It's yeah. not like straight up dirt. No, nope. it's not like that. But you know that you are coming from something that was real, outdoors, in the trenches kind of vibe. Right. And for me, it's kind of like if you had to build a place where you could function inside the trenches, so the mm-hmm. dirt was like packed and maybe behind wood and stuff, right, right, right. and you woke up in the morning, you would have that sense of that smell of tobacco and that sense of earth. Mm-hmm. And it, it, you know, you're right. It's not like a mud pack on your face. No. But I do get the sense that I'm not in an office building. Right. I am somewhere in the trenches. But like the minerals that you can kind of smell right. in the soil, like there's something about that part. I don't smell dirt, but I do know that I'm literally outdoors kind of living it you're describing this guy soap so much better than i did i don't know how you do <laughs> I, I really feel like we need to smell this and watch mash now because oh add that to our list of right. smell vision or something because right. i am literally in those like i can see that deep green around me like i am outdoors or living it maybe finally watch 1917 that movie uh, we bought like a year right. ago on we, sale and we haven't waiting. watched it yet. yeah mm-hmm. whoa okay so hold on I'm very curious, not necessarily what the centers are, because I remember what they are. Right. But to look at that list again and to kind of examine how these are clicking together, because we've yes. kind of talked about on the show, you can have two set notes that are fabulous. I am trying to figure out how to add the spearmint to a green iris tweed that I am sure that it needs, but I can't do it right mm-hmm. yet. It's about how these are clicking together, because mm-hmm. you can't just get a soil note and a tobacco note and have them click. These particular notes are clicking in a magnificent way. And I want to look at how. Can I please see the set notes? All right, back to the sales page at HerxSoapCo.com. All right, this soap melds the robust aroma of tobacco with hints of, this is the one we forgot, leather right. and earth, reminiscent of military life back then. Okay, so y'all, this, now again, be clear on this. Hear my face. This is not a mean statement. No. This is saddle leather. Now, we have a Western store here in the town where we live. And when you walk in, like a utilitarian Western mm-hmm. store, like for people with horses, actual cowboys, they it's still true. exist. Yep. And that saddle leather, when you walk in, is just one of the most 
beautiful smells. And those saddles take a long time to make and to cure and to create that. Why does leather never smell that good on the cow? So mm -hmm. this is not your new car leather. This is not your cashmere leather. Yeah. This is that beautiful, functional saddle leather. It even smells like my Red Wing shoes when I first started oh, my job. And okay. I was nice with my first steel toe mm -hmm. boots when I had that job. It's serious. That, like a right. real... Beautiful functional leather mm -hmm. that somebody's going to need to help protect last. them. Yeah. Yes, that yeah. beautiful, and then mixed with earth. And it's Love interesting because, like, look at how the label has each leaf is a different tone, right. different color, and I do smell the depth somehow in the yeah, scent. Right. Like, it's not just one of these leaves. Like, right. I feel like all those colors are being representative. There's still something that's to me. If I just took a first quickie whiff and I didn't know what it was, I still get like a gentle, natural, sweet thing, and then it's something with the spices. Like, mm. that's where my nose goes. So your nose, I think, it's more of the actual tobacco because you know what to smell for. Right, and then the depth the earthy side is that what you get more next yeah. well it's funny i don't get like a dusty thing because no, like my grandfather's dirty. barn was dusty mm -hmm. this is dirt so this like soil this is yes. more like what you would expect to find mm -hmm. in like the shire right with mm -hmm. clover growing out of it like a really like wet spongy dirt earth mm -hmm. kind of a Moisty, smell kinda, yeah. that's kind of this but you know what the more i explore this with what you said with tobacco as almost a gourmand spice if I, this yeah, twist completely it. then reopens up mm -hmm. into something totally different and almost like Christmassy. Yeah, like I was almost going to say that. I don't know why. There's something comforting about this scent. I still don't know. Like when you were putting that image earlier of like keeping your tin with you right. while you're off in the military, like right. you would go back to whiff it to remember home, like or if your dad smoked it or something. Like yeah. I feel like there's something in that scent that would be very comforting. And then is this your experience? This hits a wall for me where the tobacco goes like tobacco and it stops right there and you're mm -hmm. like wait why did it stop it right does. there right before it got too smoky right before it mm -hmm. got too dark and it's the other notes it's the earth which can be way lighter than you right. think mm -hmm. and it's it's that that's keeping it on the lighter side and stopping it from going all the way to like mm -hmm. a deep spicy smoky tobacco right. and that tug of war is a beautiful place to find like two-thirds of the way into the whiff mm -hmm. that's where my nose stops and goes wait yep. what is that stopping me mm -hmm. but i think you're right we should definitely lather and see what happens after we wake up I'm a new little base here so excited when i lather a brand new soap okay so the first thing i like to know how hard is the soap on the puck so oh it's oh Ooh, it's got some bite. Okay, back so a tips. little harder. Some business is being done. But here. That, some of that I'd like to have you kind of lather in here. Do right, have that sometimes? Right. So, and I think the harder the soap, the longer it like lasts. If that makes Ooh. sense in the I mean, bowl, yeah. The more it does. Okay. I guess. And you'd think after a year of this, we'd still have some things we, we gotta we're learn. We're still you know? corn fed newbies, y'all. We're still just basing everything on hypothesis. I'm so here. glad that Shave Trooper sent this to us, because like this is so it's a new type of tobacco to add right. to our lane of tobaccos that we have. Hundred percent. This is my twenty two gauge stainless steel bowl from Pete Hendricks at HC and C. This wasn't the most military bowl I could find. Dead worse. <laughs> and this is from Phoenix Shaving. This is the atomic mm -hmm. rocket. It's based off an ever ready brush from the forties, so I thought that was after very as fitting. Well. But I think you're right. We're going to have to bust out a vintage uh, razor to test with this. Here. Oh, I know. But the there's fun vibes, right? From right? Jeremy Fletcher. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. Well, I'm already getting things from here. Oh, y'all. It's this an almost lightening up. waking up a little bit See, here. What have we got going on? You Oh, you'd like a little water. I can okay. do that for you. We call this our no-nonsense lather bowl, y'all. Get sound to business. Right? It's funny. When I'm testing bases for people, they'll be like, use your HCNC bowl. Y'all, the more water you give this, the creamier it gets. This is a soap, not a cream, but y'all, look at this. It's like an up. This. It's its own character now. A little, a little Malboji, maybe? Oh, the tobacco from Malboji, y'all. If you know that one from just, PAA, just a little, absolutely. Yeah, different type that was of one vibe. of my very first ones. But yeah, mm -hmm. very different sort of Halloween candy wrapper. Right, like the sweeter side of somehow. Tobacco of for it. Me. Okay, y'all, I know we never discussed lather. Never, and that's only got a few seconds going on. Uh, Y'all, I just want you to see the pattern that left in the bowl. That'll give you a sense mm -hmm. of what this is doing. And, you know, when we do watch the Shave Arcade and our mm -hmm. various shaving channels, we do like to watch how the lather goes on the face. We do. It's a new artisan. Why don't you do your own oh, honors like, I'll, there? I'll yeah, do you do it. Oh! It's a thick, uh, nice little feel to it. Wow. Herc Soap Company. Good for so y'all. Hold on. Whoa. Vibe. Look at that, yeah. right? You oh. definitely got some padding here. Not for too a good shave. solid, not too loose. Hold nice on a and 
Okay, break the slickness. Nice and formulated. Break it, break it. I can't break it. No, it's a good, oh. good, nice, uh, thick no. little thing. And you know when it's on. getting under the hairs, under mm-hmm. the little stubble? Sometimes I think a soap can be a little too slick. Right. And it makes my finger go right over yeah, the little no. stubble. But this, it's, this it's is nice. getting under it. And the scent really oh. kind of stayed well in the lather as it's you went. nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's comforting on me. Right, it is. I don't know how, but like the, the smell itself is very calming and comforting. Oh. I know it's we're straight up in summer right now, but with fall approaching, like this is one I'm going to vibe oh. towards for fall. Y'all, yeah. this is one of my new... I, I haven't used the F word list words it's, in a long time, but this might be on my F word list. This might be one of my favorites. Find? Y'all. Right? That whiff pack... They know, they know our noses, up. y'all. They know, what, they know what time it is. All right, so I think we're going to have to go down into the mm-hmm. trenches with all y'all and go a little deep. So it's kind of funny, but I did go digging to make sure both of these shirts were clean because all of y'all have commented on how much you love our Pew Pew shirts, but we had to bust them out for Shave Trooper. Is this the first time we ever matched? We wore them at the same time? I think so, yeah. Hey, uh-huh. y'all, that's cool. So there you go. We do. We both have them. Oh, I love that this does make me think of my grandfathers. And I think they had very opposite experiences in the war because yes. one of them, like I mentioned, was not 18. In fact, he enlisted at 17 with his parents' mm-hmm. signature. Right. Um, but he wasn't even able to enlist until about like a month after the surrender mm-hmm. was was signed. So um, he he really helped with a lot of like the aftermath and the cleanup and mm-hmm. a lot of the injured soldiers and, and a lot of that stuff. He was on a ship called the Zarak. Um, but my other grandfather um, and, and had a purple heart. Right. And, and I just kind of found it sitting amongst like a bookcase mm-hmm. once, like in the back of the study, like, what is this? Yeah. And and he would never talk about it. And I and like when I got older and I was in high school and I was like learning about it, he would right. tell me little things. Like I was in the Philippines and I was right. stationed there with your um with your uncle Vernon. My brother mm-hmm. was there with me and and well, these they were things together. like that. Wow. Yeah, but he wouldn't. He he didn't want to like talk about it because mm-hmm. I think he saw a lot of like really awful stuff. So I yeah. think the two grandparents had very like opposite experiences same with mine like i remember walking into like you know the grandpa's watching the football we were prepping the food and other stuff and there would be times where i'd walk in and you could tell they were having a serious like they just both understood having lived through it in a different way like it was just very different one of them was a pilot so he had to do like death missions and just fly in and people were just shooting all the time and my other grandpa was like literally got frostbite in the fields in korea Korea, so it's like you know they they both it was an understood thing if it needed to come up or a side comment but it was never a big conversation i think i remember even trying to get a tape recorder out to record one of them for school and it was very hard like they did not want to they understood but they had locked that part away you know Y'all, what that generation did for us, I think we will never really understand. But it's it's funny. I remember your grandfather going to enlist. Yes. And they went to send him to Alaska. Mm-hmm. And he looked at the guy and he said, I don't want to go somewhere that cold. Can't you send me anywhere else? Well, you shouldn't do that because he got sent to Korea instantly. Because yes. the guy was, oh, yeah. Which you, is actually you want colder. Cold? You want yeah. cold? I'll show you cold. Because he's yeah. from uh, North Dakota where it was cold all the time. He's he was like, like oh, if only I could have put a mute in my mouth at that moment, yeah. I would have saved myself mm-hmm. a lot of cold nights. Right. But he would—he definitely made friends in Korea that he would bring up in conversation right. and talk about. And, like, there are certain parts of it that he was glad he was there to help right. in those moments. But Some, I know it yeah. left a mark for right. sure. But somehow he just trusted that he was still guided to exactly where he needed mm-hmm. to be in he yep. probably was. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad Shave Trooper sent this because I think he's ex-military too. And finding right. other artisans that are, there are a few. And it's very cool that this found them hopefully on another, right. you know, I know you have to be clean shaven in the military, right. but it's nice to actually keep the regiment up after for them, I so wonder. So many you know? of our whip pack members, Hosue. Right, it, it, there's a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's very, like, there's something in that, re- you know, repetition of setting up right. and that, that kind of just Zen moment of right. the ritual that really comes through. And we have the United States military to thank for keeping this hobby <laughs> well and alive for mm-hmm. decades so because it being clean shaven was an important part right. of the uniform and i can see why and a lot of the police officers too like it's very rare that you can let everything grow out now i think some right. some aqua you know at least in california i don't know where you are but that's kind of interesting that it's still in that part too so it's pretty simple y'all just be sarah's grandfather standing in front of the review board and when you say i don't want to go to alaska that's too cold you're gonna get your own So, head over to HerxSoapCo.com to find this and all kinds of other cool stuff. Let's have a grown-up conversation. I love it when we have a new base from a new artisan to us, and it doesn't look or have the same color as anything else in our collection because it means new work was being done here. And y'all... 
Y'all, what a great base this was. It's set up quick and easy, and my bowl had that beautiful, ghostly, iridescent, tiny bubbles that you look for. Tiny bubbles. And it was a great way for me to revisit a part of my grandfather's life that I was not around to see, that fantastic essence of like a World War II soap with a tobacco pouch in his pocket, maybe, because all I got was the cherry tobacco in his pipe. So, hey, Herc, thank you for this, and we look forward to the next one over there. Welcome to Messages! Hey y'all, so we wanted to share our love for the shave supply and everything Garrett's got going on down there, including a couple mm -hmm. of exclusives. Yes. So we're going to have a $20 e-gift card giveaway Yay! for y'all! And all you have to do to be eligible is send us an email here to we sent you at thebarbershopduet.com. Check back on September 4th when we draw our lucky name on the show to see if you are our lucky winner. Best of luck! Can you hear Lainey snoring on the mics? Because she's oh. she's knocked out. <laughs> Love what the earth note, the soil note is like doing to this. It is just magical. It, and I do, I have to say, I love knowing the list, but at the same time, taking a whiff of this, uh, it's one of those soaps that I want to keep re-whiffing. Re yeah, like, I don't right. want my whiff to be over. This is one of those that when I need my grandfather next to me in the shaving mirror, I no longer have to reach for Old Spice. Mm -hmm. I can go for this. It's super comforting. Like, yeah. I really just feel like someone's hand is on my back. Yeah. Like, there's something in this. 100%. I don't know how but it's coming through oh and i love that the tobacco doesn't have to go as masculine as tobacco mm -hmm. can go right it stops right before it gets too dark too mm -hmm. spicy and stays in that beautifully sweet zone where i think right. most of these guys actually are yeah if, if you think it's going to be too tobacco eve for you or you right. want to try a tobacco scent this may be a great intro because yeah. there's something very fun happening yeah in she's here. right it's where tobacco meets spice and i'm here for it yeah sign us up don't forget your next appointment with the barbershop duet you'll smell more pew pew just watch your nails. <laughs>